What up, world? It's your boy Sky, broadcasting live, giving a video today on some beautiful foods I've invested in this evening from Tom Thumb, you know what I'm saying? So, without further ado, I will present to you an amazing variety, array of foods that serve us. So first things first, I will begin with the classic, something that I'm still new to in a way. It's the coconut. You know, I love coconut chips. I love, you know, coconut shavings, coconuts in general, but this is like an actual coconut with water inside, as you can hear. So, you know, as we hear that, shaking around and whatnot. It's cool to actually have the organic cork and coconut in our life. But anyways, that's the first things first. You can do a lot of research about coconuts. I forgot what the enzymes are for them, to be honest with y'all, but I am aware that coconut water is very healthy for us. So I'll just say that, you know, I don't have all the stats and everything memorized, but anyways. Next, we have organic chickpeas, you know, garbanzo beans, chickpeas, and, you know, this is actually on the list of alkaline foods, so therefore, I've been investing in it, and I've seen my body transform. I don't know all the facts of it. Um, it is a good source of protein, plant-based protein, you know, has rosemary inside of it as well. So definitely an amazing blend, you know, of goodness in there. So just saying some chickpeas is an idea for those of y'all who are looking for a little crunchy snack or the soft version, the garbanzo beans, to each is yours. Next, we have a classic, you know, <laughs> pretty much everybody knows about these. They're just organic mango slices, dried, peeled mangoes, you know. I can do the research about that, what enzymes are in them. You know, it's a tropical paradise with these. So, I love them. They taste good, you know, raw, dried. And also, like, you know, at its raw state as well. They're both amazing. Like, the juicy state without it being dry. You know what I mean? So, mangoes are also amazing too. So, moving on to the next one. Let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah, we have the burro bananas. Now, I don't have everything memorized about this, but I am aware that these are amazing because of the lack of mucus that it produces. Shout out to Brother Polite. Shout out to Dr. Sadie for educating me on the value of this. I remember Brother Polite posted a video about the red bananas are beneficial in contrast to the normal large bananas we see inside a lot of supermarkets and whatnot that produce a lot of mucus. But this is mentioned in Dr. Sabi's, as well as, yeah, it's Dr. Sabi's list, the burrow bananas, they look like these. So these hopefully will be of service to us, you know what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to them. Hopefully they'll soften up a little bit, you know? Got them while they're still ready to, you know, brown up, darken up a little bit, soften up. So. Yeah, and last, lastly, we have some black grapes, you know what I'm saying? All these resveratrols that help with our cardiovascular system, you know what I'm saying? Keep us hydrated and everything, keep us, you know, elevated and whatnot, so. Y'all can look that up, but it's black grapes. Bananas, coconuts, mangoes, chickpeas, you know what I'm saying? We got a good little, a good little snack. 
snacks here, you know what I'm saying? A meal, snack, whatever you want to call it. Just something simple. You know, I just felt like sharing that because I have mentors who are encouraging me to share with the world a message of improving health from what I've been learning along my journey. And these have helped me to eliminate a lot of mucus, plaque, fat, excess water weight, toxins, you know, from my body, from these foods, you know what I'm saying, this is all real, this is all real from Mother Earth, you know what I'm saying, and I'm excited to continue investing in these beautiful plant-based, you know, raw, vegan food sources, you know what I'm saying, because this truly has been improving my life, revamping my life, and, you know, helping me out a lot, to be honest, it helps us out you know, the plant family, like I call it, you know what I'm saying, so, it's helping me out, and I'm coming on two years being a vegan, you know, since I began my vegan journey, so, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see how things will be two years from now, you know, and then 20 years, you know what I'm saying, so, step by step, step by step, day by day, I'll see the changes, but it's true, you know what I mean? every 35 days our body produces new skin cells from the foods that we consume so with that being said a lot of us have a lot of work to do to get back <laughs> to get back on track so you know i'm down for it you know what i'm saying i'm desiring to live on this planet for a long time you know what i mean i'm here for longevity for the long run so this is the reason why at this age I'm choosing to live this life, you know, see how things go. So, yeah, I'm getting this a message to everybody out there watching. Hopefully I have some improved research on the benefits of these. And honestly, it's still common sense though. It's coming from the earth, so you really don't have to you know, think too much about it because this is all from God, the universe, Mother Nature, Gaia, the force, whatever you want to call it. So, with that being said, you know, trust your heart on these things, you know what I'm saying? Trust your heart on these things and watch your life change. And especially if you're first beginning and waking up to some of these things, like, it's exciting. You know, because at first, you know, you really are inspired by someone or something to make that change within yourself, you know, for yourself. That's an amazing step, first of all. I'm congratulating you if you're doing that. If you're making that decision, you know, just for whatever, you know, for your own reason to make that change, that's amazing for you. you know, I'm giving you a high five, you know, high five here too. You know, some gap, and that's awesome, you know, because it shows that you're taking responsibility for your life, your health, and whatnot, and, you know, it's an amazing experience to navigate through, so, I like it, it's definitely serving me, you know, and I've become a lot more sensitive to my surroundings, to my body, to everything in life. I'm not saying it's all been perfect, we're not, but I will say it's definitely been improvements in the way I see the world, the way I see life, the planet, you know, and it gives a sense of hope, to be honest. It gets us to chill, chill out, relax, and really to slow down, to be honest, because I remember, you know, earlier in the days, earlier in my journey, you know, things were going a lot faster, and I'm still working on slowing things down, but I'm saying I have seen an improvement of this, because quite frankly, I've come a long way, and a lot of us have come a long way, you know, some of us can say we have, some of us can say otherwise, so with that being said, I'm encouraging you all to continue diving in, you know, connecting 
who knows, visit other farmers markets, let's collaborate, do videos and whatnot. Let me know your favorite foods. Maybe we can have a big party, festival, cooking video, or a food video, you know what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to doing that. Who knows, maybe create a channel, a food-based channel, specifically just for that. I don't know, there's a lot of possibilities out there. I'm just really doing my best to slow things down and really focus in. But I will say to y'all who are watching this and maybe, you know, taking upon this challenge, taking upon this change in your life, you know, that's amazing. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing. I will say, at least for my two years, I have seen improvements and changes and learned a lot of things. And a lot of things I learned from are blessings too. The lessons and blessings too. So and I'm still learning every single day. So anyways, but yeah, really mellows us out. And you will notice your health improving dramatically. You will notice your blood pressure, you know, becoming to a state of peace and lowering, you know, because I'm saying I remember, you know, things were very fast too fast, you know, back in my early journey when I was, you know, in environments with people and places and things that really didn't have my best interest at hand. And even still, after I started, began making changes along this journey, even in the last two years, I still was around certain situations. But guess what? God stayed, God was looking out for me. God is always looking out for us that are grateful and walking with God day by day. That's all I'm saying. God saves us. The universe saves us, is what I'm saying, as we listen to the universe and the universe's messages, and as we learn as well to really humble ourselves and come ourselves down, you know, that's what I'm experiencing, that's what I'm learning, like, you know, to do a metaphor of it, like, before you begin, you can be like this, and then, like, slowly but surely, you start getting like this, and you start realizing, hey, my ego is just dissolving, like, right before my eyes, literally, you know, and then maybe you want to go out into a beach, or to the ocean, or to a lake, or maybe just go out to the beach and to the sea and look up at the sky, look up at the stars, or go to a mountain or go to the pyramids in Egypt or some fascinating, magnificent, enormous, um, enormous natural statue, you know, and you see how truly small we are and at the same time we still have so much value at the same time. All I'm saying is there's certain things out there that are unexplainable in a good way a magical unfathomable representation of love of creation of you know where we came from so that's all I'm saying but yeah you will see an amazing transformation along your journey you know just do it do it for you you know what I'm saying what I've been working on is just, you know, just accepting it and, you know, keep, you know, walking as a lighthouse, not so much as a coach, you know what I'm saying? If you understand what I'm saying, like, not really forcing on people is what I am working on and just accepting it and losing the judgment. And honestly, deep down, the intuition says when I lose the judgment, I'm trying to you know, shove the vegan message or whatever in people's faces, things will finally naturally flow and the right people will enjoy the experience with me as well. Because it's all a mindset, you know what I'm saying? When the right people see these messages, the right people view, the right people watch, and I'm a living proof of changes within it. It really wakes you up is what I'm saying, like it wakes you up, people, I thought that like all of a sudden, boom, you know, I'm gonna have 
you know, these these expensive material possessions just appeared, you know, right before my eyes the day I started, you know, and to be honest, that's not the case. As we see the pyramids of Giza, you know, in Egypt, you know, as we see other magnificent monuments throughout the world, throughout life, you know, it takes a long time, you know what I'm saying? So, it's a long term. So, that's what I'm saying about this experience is, keep in mind, it's a long-term investment. You gotta make that decision. Sometimes you wanna go the quick way, the fast way, you know. It's a risk, it's dangerous. And then another way is like, hey, you know, this is the righteous route. It's not as popular, you know what I'm saying? And quite frankly, you deep down realize that this is the path that will serve you in the long run, and you will keep your spirit on this route. The other route, you selling away. You selling your soul away. So I'm slowly but surely learning. I'm slowly but surely developing that harmony within myself to humble myself as well as still maintain and improve confidence at the same time. So it's a lot going on in the world. I'm just doing my best. I'm working on it. I'm improving upon my abilities to be still and surrender and enjoy life once again. So, anyways, it's your boy Sky. You know, I miss y'all, to be honest. Well, you know what I mean? I'm glad to have y'all viewing and watching. I have been a, a little bit absent for a little while just been, to be honest, caught up, you know, handling the priority in life, you know, and I am going to continue creating, you know, never let the world take away your smile is something that I'm realizing, you know, never let the world take away your smile, you know, because we all deserve it a genuine smile and I guess it just you know is a growing process to be honest hopefully it's worth it hopefully it's worth it it's not easy it's a simple concept it just requires consistency as well as discipline as well as honoring commitments you know to advance in different levels of life is what I'm realizing, you know? So there's a lot of different shades and energies and whatnot out here and there. So it's really amazing as we grow in our abilities to walk amongst various life forms and learn how to communicate as well as grow and learn too. That's what I'm seeing along my journey. You know, it's a lot going on. And what I'm seeing is like, when I'm focused, you know, I feel amazing inside. I feel amazing inside. I feel a sense of peace when I'm focused, when I'm not externalizing you know, needy, you know what I'm saying? And that's something we all have to work on, to be honest, you know, because it starts within. As cliche as it sounds, it's the truth. You know, it starts within. The inner work is what I'm seeing serves us in the long run. So, again, I'm sharing this message to all the high flyers out there. You know what I'm saying? All of the people, the community, to, you know, spread awareness and expand, you know, expand, 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 expand. So thank you again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Let's collaborate. It's your boy Sky, broadcasting live. 
Have a marvelous night and day.